August 2008, uh, in the Aleutian Islands, uh, there was a small high latitude eruption, the eruption of Kasatochi volcano. Uh, it put about one and a half megatons of sulfur dioxide into the stratosphere. Um, and then the following year in June, uh, there was the eruption of Sarichev in the Kuril Islands, which put about the same amount. Um, and uh, the climate effects weren't detectable, uh, um, both according to observations and according to climate model simulations that we did. So we wanted to figure out um, what it would take, basically, for a high latitude eruption to have climate effects. And so we used a climate model, and uh, we first decided to um, do five megaton eruptions, both paralleling uh, the eruption of Sarichev and Kasatochi, so at the same time of year. And we found out that um, Sarichev at five megatons gave us uh, climate effects, um, but Kasatochi didn't. So that suggested to us that the time of year of a high latitude eruption actually plays a major role in um, what the climate effects will be. So we, in addition, we did climate model simulations of um, eruptions in the winter and the spring, um, both of five megatons. Um, so we have a five megaton eruption in each season, and we looked at the climate effects according to the climate model. And what we found is that the summer was the only one where we got noticeable climate effects um, at a level of statistical significance. And so uh, we concluded that at least for the size of the eruptions that we looked at, the time of year um, actually plays a more important role in determining whether the eruption will have climate effects than the amount.